The summer's all about getting away with friends and family, and that time is precious. So here's a dish that you can prepare while you're packing to leave. It's an amazing chili con carne, but not as you know it. This one's got proper texture, because instead of mince, I'm using a delicious piece of beef brisket. Let's kick off with a nice little tip about trying to create a portable hot meal that will last about three, four hours in the back of a car. So when you get somewhere, whether it's camping or a festival or no matter what, um, it's hot and delicious and you don't have to just rely on dodgy old things from like a service station. We've got a nice bit of beef brisket, about one and a half kilo. Score about a centimetre and a half down your brisket. We're creating a little chessboard here to rub in some flavours and seasoning. Cover liberally with salt and pepper, then throw about a level tablespoon of ground cumin and grab a tin of smoked paprika. Now you can either take the lid off like this or get a blunt knife and just stab it. Kind of means that you've created like a little shaker. You want about a tablespoon level of this paprika. It's smoky, it's got a bit of heat to it, it's delicious, it's going to give real attitude straight away. And then some oregano, about a tablespoon again. Rub that into all the little cracks. And you see how it's all sticking to the meat like that. And then we've got a pan on a medium heat, a little bit of olive oil, and go straight in with our brisket here. That will toast up the spices. We'll start crispening up the outside of the brisket to kind of, you know, give some attitude to the stew. Any leftover spice goes in the pot along with a couple of tins of tomatoes and one tin of beef stock. Then grab a couple of red and yellow peppers. Just push in the stalk here so it goes in and then you can pull it out like that and you don't have to waste any. Chop them up and chuck them in the pot with a stick of cinnamon. A couple of bay leaves never hurt and just whack that on the heat over here on full whack. Look at that. It's like a corrugated wall of sizzling meat. Move the brisket from the pan to the pot. Then slice up a couple of onions, four cloves of garlic, and then some chilies to spice things up a little bit. Two to four will be brilliant. Add all of this to the pan with the brisket juices. The room will start filling with incredible flavours. <coughs> There's some chilli in there for sure. When the onions are softened, add this to the pot. Push that beef right into the bottom of that pan. Grab a little bit of coriander. This will be incredible. Now it's come to the boil, just put the lid on, turn it down to really low, and let it simmer for about four, four and a half hours, and it will be delicious. Giving you plenty of time to go and pack. So when you're ready to go, you can make the chili con carne portable by wrapping it up like a present, and that will keep it nice and toasty. First, seal it with cling film, and then cover it with foil. You can kind of go around the outside as well. Now, for extra insulation, grab whatever's to hand. I've got a couple of tea towels and a picnic blanket. When everyone else is eating some dodgy old scroton burger or a dodgy service station snack, Ah, we have got the incredible chili con carne, my style. Your portable chili brisket is going to stay nice and hot for a good few hours and get better and better with time. The best part is that you've got a great meal ready to go the moment that you arrive. I'm going to bring this beautiful pulled brisket chili back to life. Do a nice little guacamole. Got a few beers. I mean, the nice thing is, like, even though it was nearly cooked when I put it in the pan, it's carried on cooking and it's just got better and better. Oh, it's still hot. Mmm. It's got a nice kick to it. Now, look at this delicious meat. It's just literally gravity's making it fall apart if I just use my fingers. Look, can you see how wonderful it's just pulling apart? And that's the whole thing with a pulled brisket. For me, 
the joy of a good chili is not mincemeat. I want it to have texture. Oh. Because this dish has been traveling for a couple of hours, I'm gonna freshen it up with a splash of vinegar and a touch of salt. Coriander, and then that's good to go. That really is very good to go. Nice one. Now, the perfect partner to our chili brisket has got to be a handmade guacamole with loads of lime. Just get stuck in with some clean hands. You don't need a knife, you don't need a machine, right? You do need ripe avocados for sure, because I truly believe that this makes the best guacamole. I'm going to squeeze it in my hand like this, right? Just squash it up in your hand. Look at the colour of that, beautiful. Get yourself some coriander and just twist it. Look, I'm doing this in the most crude possible way. I mean, at the end of the day, a big man upstairs gave you a pair of hands, you might as well bleed and use them, do you know what I mean? The only thing I'm going to use is my onion, just a rubbishy old grater. Half a red onion gone in there. And then we want to go heavy on the lime, heavy, to be fresh, to be summertime, you know, to cut through roasted or grilled meats and stuff like that. So just get that lime in there. <laughs> Season with salt, pepper, and then grab some joyfully ripe tomatoes and squeeze right through your hands. Just scrunch it. As long as your hands are clean, you know, you've got them, they're there for free, you don't have to plug them in. Finally, mix in some grated chilli and you're ready. That will make the world of difference. You are right, guys? If you pull out all the seats and stuff, I am pretty much ready to go as far as I can work out. Now you can serve up your handmade guacamole with your brisket, add some simple lettuce leaves, some yoghurt and some soft tortillas. Nice. Oh, oh Georgie, you just nearly stitched me up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 